Hi everyone, this is Ritesh once again. Welcome to Dancing with Data. This is my website. If you are coming here for the first time, if my videos are making sense to you, this is the time to subscribe to this channel. And uh, about me, well, I am Ritesh. I am uh, first in the world to be Tableau Ambassador and Power BI Super User at least once. And I am glad to start my 2-in-1 series that is uh, Tableau Community Series where we will pick one important question from the community. It can be solved by me or some of the other community members. So we will uh, share that link with you. And bonus, we'll discuss about a PEL 300 question on the basis of the same. So not only you get the real time scenario, the real project question, but at the same time you get a PEL 300 question as well out of that. Well, let's start with the question. Can a calculated measure be used as a slicer? There are four options over there. And let us see towards the end of this video. I hope you will be able to answer that comfortably. So the options are yes, you can. Second is no, you, you just cannot in any way. Third is create an independent table with these measure values and use them in, in a slicer. And fourth is none of the above. But uh, let me give you an example so that you can understand the context. So basically this is the question from the community. Right? And if I try to just, uh, miss, they have created a calculated measure that will take the difference of two different measure and they are flagging it with some colors over there, green, gray, and red. So I will show you an equivalent data source so that it will be easier for you to understand this question. Although this link will be there at the description. I have made it a little bit more user friendly where you can see different products over there. So you have some of sales 2022 and 2023. Now you have got the difference of sales with respect to the last year. That's a pretty straightforward, straightforward uh, text expression that I can show. Or maybe just let us first start with the data source. So it's simple. You see different products over there, right? These are the products. And uh, these are the sales for 2022. These are the sales for 2023. Now we are generating a measure over there. First, we are getting the difference. And after that, if it is minus, then unprofitable. If it is plus, then profitable. That's it. So we got the difference with this simple uh, DEX expression. So we are talking about this very particular column. Then we have another text expression. Okay. The red arrows over there. And here is the calculation for it. But then let me first open flag, then flag new. So first of all, we got the flag like this. If the difference is greater than zero, then profitable. If it is less than zero, then unprofitable, else null. But the problem with this flag text expression was, okay, so let me try to select this flag as well over there. Okay. So if you see, if you see at the end it is giving me profit, it is giving profitable at the total over there which won't make any sense because I'm not interested to get the aggregate for the overall products right I mean the aggregation of the product I don't want that that won't make any sense and that's why we are making use of flag new which will comfortably check whether it has one value then you get the flag otherwise you, it it gives you null so for all the different rows over there for all different all the different products it will be as it is. But when it checks that, okay, it has more than one value, obviously this is aggregate of all the products, more than one value, so it will throw null. And that's why we are making use of flag new over there. But the main problem is something different. Can we make use of this flag new? Let me just remove uh, the flag. Let, have, let us have, just have flag new. Can we make use of this as a filter, as a, as a slicer, sorry. Okay, for that we need a slicer visualization. So let's go to slicer visualization. Uh, we'll click somewhere outside and get the slicer for us. And we'll move this to the right hand side. We got, so we got the slicer. Now let us try to get the field there. Right. So this is the flag new. Now if I try to get it over there, there is no way I can get this to the slicer because Power BI won't accept calculated measure to the slicer. So at least we know that it cannot be yes. So is there any way to do it? Let us see, let us explore. So if we go to the community question, if we try to get the solution over there, uh, I think we are already done with this calculation, but this is something that you should focus on. We need to create a calculated table over there, right? Uh, that would summarize the the value which we want to make use as a filter or as filters. Let us try to create an equivalent cal calculated table in our uh, Power BI desktop. Uh, 
we want new table start with the name uh, name uh, we would give name as profit table that would be the table name so we are creating a table variable x1 we are going to summarize this uh, so the first as per the syntax the first function over there would be the table that is measure as slicer once i've got the table then you know we are going to group that against product so measure a slice of product we should have over there that then the expression name that you would like to give uh, would be profitable right and uh, that will be followed by the expression itself that is flag new in this uh, case right so in this case we would like to return what right we want to create a filter that is based on profitable and pro unprofitable these are the two elements that you should have in your filter so you are going to return summarize uh, that x1 with the profitable right that would be your last field in this dax expression uh, shift over focus on this profitable so if we go back and see this profitable uh, dex expression this is the same expression that we are having and we can go back to the data and see what's there inside the new table profitable so if you see inside the table profitable this is the dex expression and you see the two values over there profitable or unprofitable now we have got another another task to link this very particular table to the visual that we are having over there and for that we need to write another dex expression so the linking dex expression for you is in front of you now we call this as measure filter which is nothing but the selected value the table that you have created and that we are going to make use as a filter so whatever you have selected maybe profitable or unprofitable this expression will return one condition number one if it is blank or the flag new variable or flag will also work over here but for example we have flag new so or the flag new is equivalent to the value that you have selected with the slicer in that case they should throw one otherwise it will be zero right so this is the method filter that we are going to make use of okay let's say done now we need to ensure that this measure filter value should be one all the time Here you go. We apply the filter. Now let us go back to the original position and get this very particular field again to the slicer, the new one. So we go to the new table, get profitable to slicer, and boom! Here you go. Now we are in a position to make use of this as a slicer. But is it working or not? Boom! It is working indeed. so it can be used so second option is not there none of the above is also not there the third option create an independent table with these measure values and use them in slicer by following this you will be able to do it i hope you enjoyed the session if you want to follow my work this is my website where you can find my data analytics blogs so this is ritesh signing off from dancing with data.com dance with data sing with data and have fun with data